kick-ass facts, even more weird looking animals. Pew, 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 pew. Cute one's coming up, don't worry. The blobfish, Psycho, Psycholudes, starting off strong with a mispronunciation. Psycholudes frictus. What he said is a deep sea fish. The body of the blobfish is primarily a gelatinous mass with a density slightly less than the water, and this allows it to float above the sea floor without expending energy on swimming. They only appear droopy when you take them out of the sea when the pressure changes drastically. At deep sea, they look like typical bony fish. This pressurized environment provides their gelatinous body mass with structural shape. Unlike most fish, deep sea fish do not have air filled cavities which act as buoyancy and help with movement. They would collapse under the sheer pressure at the depths they live. They rely on their jelly-like flesh, jelly-like flesh, to provide the required support. The Paku fish have square, straight, human-like teeth. So they were cursed by a witch. The sheep's head fish also has human-like teeth. The Paku has many different names. Some of them are obvious. The red belly Paku has red scales on its bottom half, and the black-eared or black band Paku has two black stripes on its body. Other names have a bit of a story behind them. For example, the red belly Paku has also been nicknamed the ball cutter Paku, because of mostly, mostly exaggerated rumors that it will go after a man's testicles in the water. The long wattled umbrella bird, Cephalopterus, is native to Colombia. The male is distinguished by a large throat waddle of feathers, while females and juveniles have no or a much smaller waddle. The long waddle is covered in short, scaly feathers and when inflated looks a little bit like a pine cone. During mating season, the male puts these ornaments into action. During mating, the male fans the males fan their crest out so it nearly covers the whole of their head, and then they begin to make rumbling sounds to attract the female. The tenophora, which is also known as a comb jelly, is a distant cousin of the jellyfish. It is an underwater predator and often eats anything from microscopic larvae to small crustaceans. The tenophora goes back hundreds of millions of years. I don't know how to pronounce shit. I don't know why I took this topic up. And is considered one of the oldest living creatures on the planet. It has no brain or central nervous system, but can still use its nerve endings to find and capture prey. Sea lampreys are an invasive and parasitic species in the Great Lakes. One sea lamprey can kill up to 40 pounds of Great Lakes fish. Their original home is the Atlantic Ocean. Go back to where you belong, sea lamprey. Its mouth is jawless, round, and sucker-like, with sharp teeth arranged in many circular rows. One female sea lamprey can produce 100,000 eggs. About 10% survive, but that's still 10,000 new ones. You can swim without fear, even though it looks horrifying. It's not going to attack people. They only feed on cold-blooded creatures.